welcome to The Mass Man. Today it's my first video uh, that I've made and uh, this is part of a new playlist and the aim of the playlist is just to have lots of games, activities, um, that's going to help you learn maths. Now today I've got a card game for you and the card game is going to help you with powers and indices. So to play this game all you need is two players. You can actually play with three but I'm just going to play with two and you just need a pack of cards, and in the pack of cards you need aces, twos, threes, fours, and fives. First thing you need to do is shuffle. Every day I'm shuffling. Once the cards have been shuffled, deal two cards to each player. Once the cards have been dealt, each player must decide must turn over the cards and decide how they would like to arrange their cards. So the three and the five for player one, they could have three to the power of five, or they could switch them round and have five to the power of three. Now, the player needs to work out which would give them a higher value. So for this one, it would be 3 multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3. Or they could have 5 multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5. Once the values have been worked out by the player, they decide which one they would like to take forward for their score for the round. Now, the aim of the game is to get the highest score you can. So, of course, I want to take the 243 here. So, my score, well, player's one score for round one is 243. So let's have a look at player two now. So they have a four and a three. So I could have three to the power of four. Or I could have four to the power of three. Player two then decides which score they would like to take forward. So in this case, because we're trying to get the highest, Player 2 is going to take the score of 81 forward. Now you repeat this same process for another two rounds and then you add up the totals. And the player with the highest score wins. So let's say we did a second round and this player scored 150. And then in the last round, the third round, they scored 100. You add up the total. And that will give you the final total of 331. And it would then be up to player one to try and make a larger total than that. 